what happened is i came to the parachute area to do something and then i realized that people were just leaving and they weren't going towards the direction of exit like leaving the etba mountain i keep seeing them going down the other way and then i became curious and i wanted to know more i wanted to know why so many people are going there so good enough i met another youtuber so we jointly decide to go in my case i'm not going here because i want to enjoy any activity that is ongoing there i just want to know why people are going there that much it happens to be that i can say most visit site right now that is not like a joint uh, or restaurant or just the streets like most visit jungle so i wanted to know so because of that we are going so welcome to my channel if you're new here hi welcome my name is lydian and in this video i'm taking you guys to the cave here in kwewu this place is located at etba community in kwewu mountain so if you want to come here just go the direction of the para paragrading direction tell them ask anyone around if i you see people going there and you may want to if you're someone like me you want to know why everyone is going so just go check out it's just five cities to get a ticket that will take you to this valley so we are going down instead of climbing up you know what that means so we want to go ahead there's a cave there that has a hole that yada 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 i don't want to take that from anyone my darlings let's go do this our uh, safes okay i wasn't disappointed so we're told to buy water and then buy yeah water basically and then pay five cities as entrance tickets when you pay the five cities you'll be attached to a tour guard that will take you to the place so what happened is they tell you to put on sneakers in my case because i didn't know i was gonna come here i didn't prepare for this i was you know just coming to the parachute area when this happened so remember if you want to come here like i've talked to you about it please get yourself sneakers uh, so it will make it very easy for you so for my punishments i have to go barefitted which is totally okay it's better to be safe than to look fashionable and you know be risky so let's do this quickly this is kofiana is going to be my tall guard sorry i have to mute this okay i have to mute this because we talked for long and i think i don't think it's necessary so let's just do the action thing get this done get you guys to see where we are going so as you go okay before we we start going we're told about this shrine here that if you make a wish it comes to pass okay please don't try this okay the devil gives nothing for free all right so ignore this no shortcut to success in life walk your way to it if you're lucky your parents or someone helps you build your life it's okay okay avoid these things all right i'm not against the belief or practices of other people i'm just saying that if you ask me i'll say no so now let's go to the real business of today that brought us here if you want to go down here you need a rope which is already there the only thing you pay like i've said earlier no matter what happened on the way is five ghana cities so every other um what is it because it utility or whatever you see on the way that you use is absolutely free of charge the ropes the whatever any other thing in general is free so this is what it looks like and i'm walking barefooted sweethearts trust me i want you to see my videos and know when you see a video of me know what to expect when you come here so no too much editing this is the second rope and we are descending down going down feels like nothing serious but then i'm seeing a lot of people coming back from there and they are all acting strange okay but then that makes it even you know more interesting for me to want to go know why because they are all acting like they are tired they, you know they are tired they are sweating uh -huh. that's okay this is not dangerous this is i mean this is us going to see what's there all right i heard there's a cave there that has a hole like i said earlier 
I want to go see that. And I heard that the most beautiful view in Kweu is here. Just imagine, this bad road leads to a beautiful sight. Let's go and see after all, this is just five Ghana cities and my safety has been guaranteed. So let's go, let's go. These are people that are just coming back from them. What happened is I ask if I should continue. Uh, they are telling me, yes, I should. You know, I know they wish to tell me the truth, but they can't because they want me to also go and take, you know, that suffer competes. <laughs> so these guys want me to collect my own share of whatever they have had coming or going. So people are still going and coming. So please, if you spot your husband here or your boyfriend, fiancé, sugar mommy, sugar daddy, uh, you know, side chick, don't hold me responsible, okay? Don't ask them. Just pretend you didn't see them. This is me playing, okay? Let's just add some sense of humor to this thing. So life is not that hard after all. So let's keep going. These are people that are just coming back and they are all <laughs> sweating. Even people that are heavy in size man hey, this bros now is pressing his waist i don't know why i've asked him he wouldn't talk he said i should go and collect so i want to go there and pick my own good as if they are goods there right so let's go we got to this place and uh, i was told we decide if we're gonna go left or right there are two so the first is to show us the cave and then the second is to take us to the perfect view that you ever see in Kwewu this year. No cap. All right, so I opt for the yes. other one. I so you can go a bit to that okay. side, so you can see the whole very well. Okay, that is like... Yeah. Ha. See, there's a hole. Jesus so that's Christ. Where they, that's where they came from. This is practical history of life. Even now the road is... The foot, the path is now called blocked. Blocked. You might not know, but... How many years ago was this? Huh. Before, 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 before all of us was born. Oh. She's careful. Hey, hey, no, I won't go. Slippery. Charlie. This one, the, all the rings, everything washed down inside. It's blocked. You can look at the way the thing is. Yeah. Okay. So, if so we're this to is be the most difficult one. Is the it the longest? The longest. The longest. Yes. But that one just shot. Closer just to shot. that yes. place. That one is just like a cave. Yeah. Hey. But. You know? So after that we are done. Yeah, we are done. We go back. Yeah, we'll go back. We'll climb up. And then going back, that is the most difficult. I can do it. I yeah. climb the um at the no sweet at no, 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 no. That those things are slippery. Mm. But there's something like a uh, part here. How no. did we no. get that? Please. Hey, that I think I think that? they broke some of Okay and it fell down. Yeah, it, or maybe it could have fallen by itself. Okay. But for it to create that. No no. Standing here you can realize that it's very deep. It's a valley. Mm. Mm. Like it's not defined. Like. To, I think maybe the trees just came down by themselves and then maybe created that. Oh, but it's not a walkable part. But it create finish for Ghana. <laughs> With Why? mountains everywhere. Do you have lowlands in your country? No, we have, but <laughs> um, some selected um, places. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to Enugu State, mm -hmm. places like this are very common. And done with that part, let's go to the other one. The easy one, I guess, it says so, but I don't think it's as easy as. Is this easy? No, now you'd be the judge. Is this easy? Right? Nothing good comes easy. So let's go see the view that everyone in Quill right now is talking about. Okay. So on getting here, this looks a lot like, it looks familiar to me. I recently traveled to the Ashanti region and I went to the Etia mountain. This is just like a twink. One of the mountains at the Etia mountains. So it looks almost like this. And I'm going to show you that part, just a few seconds, we we'll get there. So it looks a lot similar. Look at this. And there's this curvy thing that looks like a head of something. I don't know. The mystery here is just so much. I was so scared that I couldn't look into the hole because there are holes on this rock. So it's just so different. I don't know why Ghana has a lot of this, a lot of these uh, mountains around. I've seen one too many. It's very, very interesting to see because this is not common. This is not man-made actually. Only God makes this. He lifts the finger of, you know, God left his finger in Af Africa. And evidently, you can see a lot of this in Ghana. No man, okay, can do this. Just watch and see. We are almost there. 
I just want you guys to see the road to the place so you don't go there and say, oh my God, I didn't know. You know, coming out from here, I'm going to testify, but that will be later. So first, I want, I want you guys to take a look at the view. See the holes under there, it's as if it's open, but hello. <laughs> you want me to go there and see snake. So I don't want that. I didn't want anything that would scare me over there or anything. So I just want to like pretend that I'm going good until you know we'll go here and come back as a matter of fact it's very safe okay i didn't see anything like snake or any you know any dangerous animal here all right so i the good thing is i've taken the risk for you in case you want to visit here you're highly welcome a lot of people comes here like i'm seeing people in and out in and out in and out yeah, on our way going you see what i'm talking about when we're coming you saw that those are the people i was able to film because before I film anyone, I'll ask them, the ones that are not cool with camera, I guess they came with their sugar mommy or something. So they don't want camera side so film. All right. So the ones that I accept, I did it. So you can see that carving that I'm talking about. You can see this rock is going to be here forever and ever. All right. So yeah, 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 yeah. I am. Um, exhausted not because i'm physically exhausted i am mentally exhausted you can guess why i mean i'm thinking about going up because now people were panting when i saw them coming up when i was coming down so and they were saying oh going is easy why so now i'm thinking about the difficulty of going back up and it's it's in a way the joy for me but not now i have to see this in coco view you can see so i've thought that this view you can only get it at the paragrading side no that is not even it here you get it even more closer and you can see the roads i tried to do this at the other paragrading side i couldn't get this clear road you can see this is the, the road that links straight the main road that takes you from here to uh Quill mountains so and this one takes you to accra you can see you can see the road straight to accra if you follow the accra and uh, kumasi so you can see nkoko as you want i don't know how this place looks like at night please i don't recommend you go here at night okay my opinion all right so guys please this phone is okay hmm? okay not be me kid jesus christ i didn't come here to over enjoy it this is not enjoyment if you ask me but it's very good for your body physically because going back up there i know how the amount of sweat i sweated and then this voiceover is made the following day shall i testify okay i have severe okay maybe we should hold on and get to the top before we talk now that i'm still here I should just be humble and keep quiet about this so now it's time for us to go and we are going uh, this is my tour guide great guy kufiana very nice so we are going back up and then we met this handsome boys i mean our guys or men i don't know my eyes now it sees every guy to be very handsome i think i've been single for too long all right topic for another day so i'm looking at these fine guys and they were like oh okay you can see i don't even know which one to choose milk chocolates or what i told them they are cute and they are <laughs> blushing you know now so let's go let's go let's go to the top there i will tell you how i'm feeling today being the second day i mean the following day after this trip like since i came to Kweu, i usually drop video twice a day but because i went here hmm, to do sacrifice <laughs> sacrifice of exercise I couldn't function the following day so please if you want to go here when you get home take painkiller because the following day your hotel money will waste you're going to be sleeping in there you'll not be able to go out to have fun all right so you've seen the video if you like you can visit here highly recommended good for your body good for your health thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe like share i love you so much 